secondary. We've got just over 25 litres of 25 litres there. So, um, well, we've got 50 litres of beer to rack off. Um, might, might wash the yeast, I've not decided yet. But um, what I'll do, I'll start on this one first, get that one uh, put into the fermenter, and then move on to the second one. Because I've only got one, one hose. So uh, it's a slow process, but we'll get there eventually. So uh, stick around. That didn't take too long. And there we go. Racking into secondary. Uh, I imagine this will take the best part of five minutes. Um, might be easier if I just hyperlapse it. Okay, racked off. I was smart enough. Just take a little uh, shot glass from each to have a taste of it. It's come out quite a nice pale, pale colour actually. I'm quite looking forward to tasting this. I've had a little taste of this first one. This is with the Bedford English yeast. Um, it smells brilliant. It's going to be a really nice summer beer this. And this one, this is with just uh, English ale yeast. They do taste totally different, just from using two different yeasts. That one actually comes through more hoppy. This one comes through more malty. I don't know how that works, but... They taste entirely different. So, um, just need to get those back into the uh, into the fermentation chamber and um, wash some yeast. Okay, I've, what I'm washing the yeast, I've put about eight pints of water into there, poured out the beer, and uh, so it's just basically yeast cake and water. I've mixed it up, uh, and I'm just waiting five, ten minutes for the crap to settle at the bottom, uh, and I've got four mason jars. Done. And what I'm probably going to do is two for each, two from each bucket, so that I've got four four yeast starters to uh, to use next time I brew. Um, five or ten minutes, I'll come back. And I've left it for ten minutes. I should probably leave it a bit longer, but um, I don't want to. So here we go. Get myself a couple of mason jars out. Do one first, and then. It really is a case of pouring. All that big crap's in the bottom. One. No, that's two. Right 
Okay. Too bad for the yeast starters. Happy days. Just got to move on to the other one now. Okie doke. Right, so rather than just watch watch me pour some uh, yeast into a into a jar, uh, I just finished that off. Uh, now these pulled off about an hour ago. Uh, as you can see, we're getting some settling at the bottom there, and that white line at the top of the sediment is the uh, is the yeast cells. Uh, so that's going to take a few days for it to, to settle down properly. Um, and once I've uh, once it's been in for a month or so, I'll pour out some of the liquid. Um, but uh, as you can see, I've got two. Uh, two of each so that's uh, th those yeasts are about eight pound each um, and to just use it once and throw it away seems silly because you, you're going to create far more yeast by the time you finish the brew so it's worth washing it off and saving it because that's 16 32 quids worth of yeast I've got there now um, and you can at least do that two or three times before I buy a new packet so um, so yeah that's uh, that's yeast uh, nothing really else to show you today so so that's it from me um, but I'm going to be putting some dry hops in into those fermenters fairly soon so I'll come back to you and show you that thanks for watching take care bye bye